What's up guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I use Liquid Driver, how I claim my tokens, and what I'm gonna do with those tokens, and give you a brief overview of like why I invested into Liquid Driver. So essentially today, as of January 16th, you can see Liquid Driver is at an all time high as of 26 minutes ago, and it's at 55.24. So I started investing into it in particularly November and December. So I got in at a really good price you know, between four to like $2. So from two to basically 55, this is my first time I ever had like, and it's not my first time, but it's my first time in a while that I had a 25 X gain, right? The thing about it is I locked my liquid driver tokens and we'll get into that in a little bit more on why. So I can't necessarily access all the funds, but this is a cash flow protocol. And you'll kind of understand that a little bit more as I get to it. So Liquid Driver aims to do the same thing on Ethereum, what Convex is doing with Curve. So Convex is collecting a bunch of Curve tokens because they want to control Curve's emissions, right? So it's going to be a little bit confusing if you've never heard of this before, but you know, in theory, you'll hear this once and then you can go down your own rabbit holes of research about understanding these different protocols more. So because Convex owns a majority of uh, curve, they control all the emissions of curve. So when curve emissions get released, they can choose to like boost their own farming pairs, right? So Liquid Driver is doing the same thing on the Phantom ecosystem. And what they're doing is basically they're partnering with Spirit Swap. They're also partnering with uh, Spooky Swap and they're also partnering with Beethoven X. Um, so this one just says, Spooky Island because that's their nickname, but the protocol itself is called Spooky, right? Or and the reward token is boot for that. So each one of these have their own emissions that they release. So by controlling the governance token on Spirit Swap, they can be like, hey, I want to redirect all of Spirit Swap's emissions towards my farm, and right. So they're boosting their Liquid Driver farm by 22x, right? So normally if they did not boost it, it would not be at 133% APR. It would be 22X less, essentially. And then same thing with these, right? This one's boosted, so it's 81. Um, and then Beethoven X is boosted to you know 86%. So that's what Liquid Driver does. Uh, if that didn't make sense, um, I recommend just diving into it a little bit deeper. Basically, this protocol aims, like I said, to be the convex of the Phantom ecosystem and just control emissions, right? I've seen this play out before, before in Curve and Convex, and I didn't really understand it at first either. But I know, based off the price action of Convex, I should have put money into it, and I see the same narrative playing out in the Phantom ecosystem. So I started my DeFi journey back in earlier this year in like February, March, um, and this protocol only came out in June, right? So I saw it go from $6 to $40, and there's a guy named Noah Seedman. In his videos, he has over like a million dollars of it now. Uh, I think maybe even $2 million of it of Convex, parked inside of Convex right now. So I just saw his huge run up, and he was always a, such a huge advocate of Convex and Curve and putting money and putting your assets, uh, turning your assets to be productive assets. So I'm seeing the same thing happen in the Phantom ecosystem. So what I do is with my liquid driver, I stake it, uh, right? And when you stake it, it becomes XLQDR. You'll see a lot of protocols with like X because that's like how they just, how, that's the DeFi language for like staking their stuff. So I put my liquid driver in. Right now I have 700.151. So that means I have $42,000. Right, and that's because it bounced all the way up. I did not have a huge bag of this, so so 42,409 divided by 25. So I only had maybe 1,700 bucks in here. It went all the way, it's at 42 grand right now. So needless to say, I'm really happy with how this turned out. I'm happy that my research and me just paying attention to Convex and understanding how that played out is now playing out in Pam. I think this huge spike is gonna definitely go down most protocols, when they go up this fast, they're gonna normalize back to average. So I wouldn't be surprised if this gets back to the 20s or so. But in the meantime, I have my money locked in for two years here basically. And essentially why I did that is because I want the max APR. So if you do it for one year, you only get 50% of this. If you do two years, you get 
And the tokens that it gives out are LQR, Phantom, Spirit, Boo, Spell, and Beat. I like all these protocols, so it just kind of makes sense to me. So when I want to claim them, um, I, so this is something you can do daily. I do it once a week. And the more often you do it, the better because it, it'll compound faster, right? So claim, you know, just go here. It'll cost me 0.3 Phantom to do it. So that's going to be a dollar or so. Looks like it's not working on here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my Chrome browser because um, sometimes my treasure is a little bit buggy now that it's in here. And I'm going to claim, hit the claim button. Yeah, 900 bucks waiting for me, which is awesome. All right, so basically now I uh, just confirm it on my hardware wallet. Hardware wallet is just a safety thing because you have to physically click a button in real life um, in order for like the funds to move around. So right now it's claiming. So for me, I, everyone has different goals, all right? So I want to get my LQDR to, towards like a thousand, which is like just a nice round number. It's gonna take me a while to get there, so, but basically with all the LQDR that I claim, I just reinvest it, right? So now it goes down to zero because I claimed it all and it's in my wallet. So I just hit max, increase the amount here. If you accidentally miss the screen pop-up, you can always click it and then guess will load, hit confirm confirm on my hardware wallet. All right, so that puts the 4.2 inside of here. Um, and then what you wanna do is, for me, I like locking it up. So I'll extend it again, because I just want I just want max right now. I don't really care if it's like in here and stuck in here, because uh, it's gonna be printing me 87% APR. All right, so APR is not compounded. So essentially on 87%. So 87, right now I have 42,000, right? So like I like to give like math numbers example. So times 0.87. That means it will spit out $36,000 if the price stays the same relatively for me every single year. And that's without compounding. So with compounding is gonna be like actually a lot higher. So to 36,000, all right. So for me, 36,000 is, what is it, 87? Uh, it's not that bad. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. So if I were to divide it by 12, that's like an extra 3,000 bucks every single month. That covers most of my living expenses. So like, I'm happy to know that like, basically living expenses are covered. I make money in my business. So all of this is just side income that like I reinvest, reinvest, because I think right now is like the golden era of DeFi. So that's why I have my money parked in here. So, okay. And then, so that extra four LQER just jumped in. And you know, four doesn't seem like a lot, but you always gotta do the math on it. So the four is worth another 234 that I put in. So it'll just be more money that I'm spinning out. So you'll also see that it gives out Lin Spirit, which is liquid driver spirit. And with that, you can sell it. Um, but what I like to do is I like to put it, uh, reinvest it essentially. So let's see. So it gives me another 64% APR on the money that I have in here in spirit tokens so this is like the process i go through every time i'm like claiming stuff on liquid driver uh or just like my DeFi protocols so i'm just walking you th through it so you guys understand what i'm doing with the money and what the process looks like right so confirm on the hardware wallet so now i'm claiming the spirit rewards and what i'm gonna do is convert my spirit into lin spirit because i just want I want liquid driver to be more powerful because they'll control more emissions, right? So I'm giving my spirit to liquid driver because I want them to control spirit's emissions. I would say spirit is probably like the number two decks on the Phantom ecosystem. Spooky swap is like the number one in terms of TVL. Um, and that's usually how you measure the strength. But I've seen in other basic like protocols, uh, not other protocols, other layer ones where you know, the number two guy ends up being the number one guy. So I have, I'm betting on both, both Spooky and Spirit. Uh, Cause I both, I like both of the teams. I think they're both innovative. Both their discords are pretty popping and they're basically integrating a bunch with a bunch of protocols in this space. All right, so I'm converting my Spirit into Lin Spirit. Once that goes through, then I'll have more Lin Spirit and then I'll get my Lin Spirit and then I'll stake it. In terms of like waiting for all this, this is the part you cut out meal. All right, so my spirit went through. Oh, I forgot, I did, oh yeah, I was claiming it first, and then I didn't claim all of it. So let me convert all of it to Lin Spirit. And then MetaMask is just basically a really popular wallet to use, and it works with like 
most layer ones, Ethereum, AVAX, Phantom or so. All right. I don't know we're gonna let that go through. Gotta have all of it going through. And then basically, because I converted the spirit to land spirit, now I'm gonna state the rest of it. So basically once it's green, you'll see that it's done. Yeah, so usually when I'm doing this, I'm just kind of like jamming out to music, part of my morning routine. It's kind of fun because they're just making money and like collecting it. Um, so these are all the manual forms I do. If you like are a busy guy and there's certain protocols you want to invest into, you can use auto compounders and they'll automatically do some of these things for you. But there's no auto compounders for liquid driver just yet. Um, and then the auto compounders usually take a 4.5% fee of all the profits they make you. So. It can add up if you got like a really big wallet or so. Um, but sometimes, you know, people value their time and they don't mind paying that. So I do that with um, the money that I have on Beefy. So I'll just go through. Yeah, so usually when I'm doing this, sometimes I'm watching like YouTube in the back or just a movie. <clears throat> and I think Phantom's ecosystem is really hot right now because usually it takes just like five seconds for things to go through. So that's like the issue with a lot of layer ones. The more and more people are using them, uh, it gets a little bit slower. So earlier, with my ex, when I was claiming, it gave me boo tokens too. And before, I was just holding on boo tokens because I wasn't sure what to do with it, um, and I would just sell it off. But because I think boo is going to be doing pretty well too, what I'm going to start doing now is actually staking my boo. So boo is the governance token um, and the emissions tokens of Spirit Swap. So what's going to happen is basically I can stake boo and get x boo, right? So because X means staked, right? And that's my receipt. But the nice thing about XBU is if I stake it, I can pick like what I want it to spit out, uh, right? So I can choose any of these tokens and the APR is different for each one. So say I want more liquid driver to like even like boost the uh, money machine printing even more, then I'll choose that. So looking at this, I can get Phantom too, which is like I'm pretty bullish on too, but like I said, I wanna, I'm probably gonna do more Phantom because I think as a whole, Phantom is gonna go up 37, 37% APR spitting out is pretty good. 42% of liquid tire is pretty good. I might as well continue the, this little flow of money getting spit up. So I'm probably gonna do a liquid driver. Okay, so my spirit thing went through. Um, my mass is being a little odd. Usually it just loads right away. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close out my Chrome tab. So this is like the real annoying part about DeFi. Not everything works all the time, but in my opinion, it is very worth your time. Uh, and I highly recommend you guys always bookmark these websites just for safety reasons. Because if you're logging into the website and you don't see like the bookmark icon pop up, then that's a good way to know that you might be on a wrong website and someone could be trying to steal your funds basically, right? And you don't want that happening. So it's I'm doing that. Okay, so my spirit went through. So now that I have Lin Spirit, I'm gonna stake my Lin Spirit um, because I want that APR. So with the treasure, I know it doesn't work if like the treasure window pops up and it, then it like disappears. So I have to reconnect my device and redo it again, which is super annoying. All right, so now my Lin Spirit is getting staked inside of Liquid Driver for another 64%. So what I have staked is, so just to give you guys an idea on like the math, of why like it's an interesting idea to like compound. Um, I believe it'll be it'll be 2,100 plus all of that once it goes in. Uh, but I can do the math in the meantime. So 2103.23 plus, oh, there it goes. So off of this 3000, that's like 1200, right? So, and because it's 64, I use a Mac and a Windows computer. So sometimes my fingers just do the wrong thing. It's not working, okay. 1204 times point times 0.64 so yearly I'll make another basically another 700 bucks off of this and I'll just keep getting compounded right and so with the boo tokens what I'm gonna do now to increase it so I'm gonna stake my boo that I have so it's not that much right so this is gonna this position is gonna take a while to build up over time but so six times 
38. Cause usually I sell my boot, right? But I think I want to try just stacking it for a little bit. So I have what, uh, 200 bucks that I'm putting in right now. So this is like what people call like flywheels, strategies inside of DeFi. This is me confirming to stake my boot so I can get X boot. And then essentially uh, with these other ones like spell and beats, beats I'm gonna make another video on because I'll, it'll get added to my wallet along with all the other beats I collect from Beethoven. Spell I'm just gonna hold in my wallet and then Phantom, I'm, wrap Phantom I'm just gonna hold in my wallet too. So the last part of this video is just gonna be Boo uh, getting staked. Let's see. All right, so the Boo is staked. I'm gonna hit the refresh so it just shows it. All right, so I got that $235 spitting out 26%. And then instead of getting more Boo, all right, what I'm gonna do is actually get more liquid driver. So I'll hit approve on this. Hit confirm. Confirm on my hardware wallet. And basically, I can stake my boot, my X boot in here. So my boot is still gonna get 26% off of it, right? And I'm gonna get 42% LQDR too. So just like all this stuff just compounds and compounds and compounds and compounds, which is pretty cool. And this is why I like the Phantom ecosystem because there's a lot of like cool projects like this where it's just like, I don't know, they all connect and there's like different money Legos is what people call it to do all this. But yeah, essentially that's the liquid driver thing. If you guys want to stay in uh, up to date with like what I do on all these projects, please join Discord. The link should be in the video comments below. But it's the Goon Squad. We just talk everything in here inside of crypto. Right now we have, I think what, 270 people. So it's not that many people and so it still feels small, which is nice. But yeah, other than that, have a good one. I hope this liquid driver helped you guys video. Uh, video. I hope this liquid driver video helps you guys understand your strategy and like what I do with my funds. And that way you, can, you guys can think about what you guys do with your liquid driver funds. See you guys around.